Hi there, it's Sherry, and I help teach people how to have a happy and easy life with their four-legged dog friends through positive reinforcement dog training. And today, I am here with Roxy. <laughs> She's all excited to be on camera. Roxy is a six-month-old Border Collie puppy, and we are going to work on teaching Roxy not to jump when people come in the front door. So there are a couple different ways to do this, and this way I think is one that takes a little bit more time. But I like to give people different options, different things that they could do, and then you could choose uh, which one works for you. So um, I am going to be using a clicker when I work with Roxy. Okay, so first I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do, and then I'll do it with her, and then I'll narrate it as I'm doing it. So I'm gonna use a clicker. A clicker is a training tool. It communicates to the dog that they did something correct. So I've already been using this with her. She's already familiar with what it is, but you are gonna see me using it and, and working with it. So um, this is called a clicker. It makes a sound, okay? And I have to feed her after the sound. <laughs> She's laying right here. She's a cute puppy. So the clicker marks what we want. So you're gonna see me use it. Dogs learn about 70% faster with the clicker than they do without the clicker, okay? Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk outside and then I'm gonna come back in. And before Roxy can jump, I'm gonna use the clicker to mark what I want and then feed her. So I have a hair on my lip. So anytime we teach a dog something, you need to ask yourself, what do I want the dog to do instead, right? So I told you that we're working on her not jumping, but you have to think, what do I want my dog to do instead? Because not jumping isn't something that we could teach a dog. So I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna tell you what it is, but the first thing I want her to do is keep all four feet on the floor, right? So I want her to keep four feet on the floor. The second thing I want her to do is to sit. I'm not gonna wait for her to sit. She's a young puppy, and she's kinda tired today anyways, um, so she might even lay down. But I'm not gonna wait for the sit, and I'm not gonna ask for it. But you're gonna see what's gonna happen in just a minute. So, um, I'm gonna go back out, I'm gonna come back in. What I want her to do is keep four feet on the floor. <laughs> Here she is. I want her to keep four feet on the floor, and I'm gonna click that, and then I'm gonna wait for her to sit. Okay, so I'm gonna leave you guys just for a minute. I'm gonna walk out. So I wouldn't normally do that, but you're here at my training lesson and I wanna show you the whole thing. All right, so here it goes. So here's our puppy. She's gonna stay in the house. Can you see her? Yeah. I'm gonna throw a piece of food just to get her away from the door. I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna come back in. Okay, 
So a lot of times my clients will wait for the dog to jump and then want to do something, right? We want to prevent the behavior, okay? So even right now I'm kind of close to her. If I talked in a high-pitched voice, which I have a very high-pitched voice, she'll get excited and jump. Hi, puppy! Okay? So I'm going to continue to reinforce her for keeping four feet on the floor or for sitting. I'm going to do it one more time. And I'm going to turn you guys. I know the lighting is um, its so bright in here, and sometimes there's a glare. So let's see. Roxy's mom is going to appreciate this as well. So I hope that was helpful. If you like that, go ahead and give me a one in the comments. I have a bait bag right here. She's no fool. She can stick her head right in there. See that? Okay. <laughs> I could see her on the camera. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see more demos like this or you have any specific questions, just let me know. I know we talked about the clicker. I haven't really talked about that yet. Um, but this is a great tool to use with dogs. And just keep in mind too, right? I didn't have the food in my hand first. I waited for her to do something, clicked, and then the food. So we talked about that in a previous video. All right, hope you guys are having a good day. And I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> now she's jumping. <laughs> If you're ready to get a well-behaved dog, click the link above on the six hacks to keep your dog out of trouble without training. All right. Thanks so much, you guys, for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.